All right, guys, we are back. It is so great, of course, to see you during Photography Talk episode number 14. We're going to think, start things off with uh, last week. You might have noticed that we kicked off a drone giveaway, guys. I've mentioned this in a couple videos already, but in case you haven't seen them, we've got a drone giveaway going on right now. We've got a brand new DJI Mavic Mini to give away to one of our followers. This is such a fantastic little drone that it really hits above its weight class. I honestly can't think of a better drone that is under $400 price point than this one. Entering the giveaway is extremely easy. Stick around to the end of this video and you'll learn exactly what steps you need to do in order to enter the contest. Okay, let's start off with a little Canon news. Canon is rumored to be releasing four new full frame cameras in 2020, yeah. Four. Canon seems to have its foot on the gas this year with four full frame cameras rumored to be released or on the table for sometime this year. The first camera, the EOS 1DX Mark III, has been confirmed already and will be released next month. Now, according to Canon rumors, the other three full frame cameras in 2020 will be for the EOS R system. We've discussed the EOS RS, which is a kind of an unofficial name for it, and the rumors have persisted that it will be announced before CP Plus in February. If that doesn't happen, a announcement in May seems quite likely. Up next is the EOS RM, which is also kind of an unofficial name. It is rumored to be a entry-level camera, even more entry-level than the existing EOS RP. The EOS RP, you may know, goes for about a thousand bucks. So if the EOS RM is going to be more affordable, it's going to be one of the cheapest full-frame cameras on the market by far. After that, rumor has it that Canon will be announcing a third EOS R body. This EOS R version will apparently be aimed at sports photographers with heavy focus on speed. It might have a lower resolution sensor than other existing EOS R bodies, but have similar speed qualities like the Sony A7S cameras. Now, as far as rumor goes, these seem to be the camera bodies with the greatest likelihood of being announced by Canon this year. But there has been some discussions on a USR replacement as well as a USR version of the 5D Mark IV. However, rumors indicate that the USR is a one-off camera and that it will not get a successor and that the EOS R line will not get a 5D Mark IV equivalent, but the 5D Mark IV will be replaced by a 5D Mark V. We've got a lot of time left over in 2020 for obvious reasons, so we'll see which of these rumors pan out. And as being a Canon shooter, I'm excited to see what happens. In the meantime, you can check out my videos on the 1DX Mark III and the EOS RS if you want more details about these rumors. Links will be down below in the details. Next, an APS-C EOS R camera is unlikely until 2021. Now you may recall back when Canon released the EOS R back in 2018, so there was a lot of speculation that quickly grew about the possibilities of a APS-C EOS R camera. Well, we're in 2020 and there's no APS-C EOS R in sight. It seems that before Canon spends time and money on an APS-C EOS R, they're concentrating on filling out the RF line of lenses. Canon Rumors reports as much saying that an APS-C EOS R is likely in development, but is not going to be announced until sometime next year as well. In the meantime, more RF lenses are in the works. More on that in a minute. But what we will apparently not see is a lineup of RFS lenses for a APS-C EOS R camera. Canon is developing much more budget-friendly RF lenses though. Right now, the cheapest RF lenses are $500 for the RF 35mm at the 1.8 and $900 for the RF 24 to 240, that's a f4 to 6.3. You know, I think a cheap nifty 50 would be an excellent addition to the lineup, as well as a cheap kit lens of some sort. Speaking of which, let's discuss a rumor about a new RF kit lens. Canon patents a 1770 RF lens. Guys, as I mentioned a moment ago, Canon is really focused on developing more RF lenses. One of those lenses is the RF 17 to 70. 3.5 to 5.6 IS USM. Evidently, Canon is developing the lens as a kit lens for the EOS R system. Not a lot is known about this lens other than the focal length range, aperture range, as I just mentioned. But the patent also discussed two similar EF lenses. The first is an EF 17 to 70, 3.5 to 5.6 IS USM, and the second is an EF 16 to 60, 3.5 to 5.6 IS USM. No word yet on when these lenses might be announced. Given that the patent was just recently issued, it's safe to assume these lenses are on tap for 
2021. In other camera news, the Fuji just announced the X-T200 just a few days ago. In the press release about the camera, Fuji specifically mentions that the camera provides content creators of all levels with new lightweight and compact mirrorless camera. Beyond the small form factor, the X-T200 has a new EVF an autofocus system that features the quick face detection and a 24.2 megapixel sensor. The sensor and the processor are a new combination for Fuji and the result of that camera can shoot still photos at 8 frames per second and record 4K UHD at 30 frames per second. It also has advanced HDR functions for shooting photos and videos in high contrast light as well as full HD video at 120p in case you want to shoot some slow motion footage. The feature I'm most interested about, guys, is the digital gimbal. Now, according to Fuji, this feature will mitigate camera shake through new gyro sensors inside the camera body. As a result, it helps you shoot smoother video and improves image quality. Fuji says this feature is capable of beyond what normal smartphones can provide for, well, whatever that's worth. <laughs> We'll see soon enough if this is a legit feature or just a gimmick that doesn't work really well. Next, we have the Nikon D780 is in stock and is shipping. You may recall a few weeks ago, we talked about the new Nikon D780. Well, now it's in stock and shipping out to customers. You can pick up a body for $2,296.95 at Adorama, or you, if you want a bundle with the 24-120 f4 lens, well, you can pick up that sucker for $2,796.95. I discussed this camera in length in Photography Talk episode 13 a couple weeks ago, so check out that video if you want the scoop on its specs and features. The link, of course, will be down below. Jump head over to the Nikon D6 updates. It seems like rumors have been swirling around on the D6 for years and years, but despite that, there's still a lot of uncertainty about this camera. Initially, the thought was that the D6 would have a new 24 megapixel sensor, but now the reports show that it will instead have a 20 megapixel sensor. More interestingly, rumors say that the D6 will not have IBIS, which seems like a huge mistake if you ask me. Other rumor details about the camera include a 14 frames per second burst shooting, an improved autofocus system and customized options for camera settings. It looks like we can expect to see 4K 60p video with raw recording, dual CF Express card slots, and two new XP processors. Wi Fi and GPS are also expected. It appears that Nikon will announce the D6 next month, so keep your eyes peeled for more details in the coming weeks. Of all the cameras discussed in this video, which ones are you most excited about? Let me know in the comments below. And last, we're going to talk about the drone giveaway details. Entering the contest, guys, is crazy easy. Step one, like the video. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more videos of ours that you watch and leave a comment on, the more chances that you have to win. So check out our other content and drop some comments. Step three, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That's it, guys. That's all you have to do. For complete details of the giveaway, check the description below. Good luck, guys. And there you go, Photography Talk episode number 14. If you found this video to be helpful, hit the like button down below. If you are currently not subscribed to the channel, hey, what are you waiting for? We'd love to have you part of the channel here. So get on top of that. And while you're at it, hit the bell to be notified as we're coming out with new videos. With that said, guys, I'm gonna get out of here and you get out there and create your best shot.